Okay guys, we've been discussing this single phase auto transformer and why it's awesome. Okay, and I want you to know, by the way guys, because you know this is a 5057 VA transformer feeding this 37350 VA load. And so the question is, you know, if I looked at this transformer, what would it say? Would it say it's a 5K VA transformer? Or would it say it's a 37K VA transformer? And the fact of the matter is, it will say 37.35 kVA auto transformer on it, but it'll have been made out of this 5,000 VA transformer. And when I mean, when I say it's made out of, you know, even though every single textbook, guys, every single textbook will show an auto transformer as one winding like this with a tap coming off of it. In real life, it's actually not that way. In real life, it's made like this. They take a 5000 VA transformer, okay, a conventional 5000 VA transformer. So here it is, it's got a, two windings, okay. And this will be 415 volts, okay. And this guy here will be 65 volts, all right guys. And then, and this thing will be 50, you know, whatever it is, 56, 56 VA, that'll be that transformer. Okay. And then we'll take this wire and we'll jump her over to this wire. And then this will be the primary. Okay. And this will be the secondary. Okay, and what that is, is exactly that. Now this thing is 5056 VA, which means that, you know, this winding here is capable of 77.78 amps, the heavy winding, and it is the low voltage. So this little guy here, you know, it's good, gonna be good for 77.78 amps. And this guy here is gonna be good for 12. 12.12 amps and that's perfect because a conventional transformer if it's 5000 VA you know 65 times 77 is that 415 times 12 is that so this is a 5 kVA transformer but it's feeding this 90 amp whoops 90 amp load okay out there at 415 volts and so we got a lot of current flowing through this low voltage winding because it's heavy, okay? And it'll, every low voltage winding is heavy compared to the high voltage winding. And this high voltage winding will be wound and it'll be light wire, okay? And so they take this conventional 5 kVA transformer, they wire it up in such a way that it's wired like this, and now all of a sudden it's capable of delivering 37.535 kVA to the load. All right, guys? And so... You know, this is going to be way cheaper than buying this, which is going to have two windings also, but they're both going to have to be good for massive amount of current. All right, guys. So auto transformers are used because they are ridiculously small compared to the size of the load that they are driving. And because they're ridiculously small, they're way cheaper than a conventional transformer. But... You can't use an auto transformer in every situation, okay? There's rules in the code book about where you can and cannot run an auto transformer. And it's because an auto transformer doesn't do any isolation, all right? And when I say isolation, this is a regular transformer and there's no electrical connection between the secondary and the primary or primary and secondary. And uh, this one, there is an electrical connection between the primary and secondary. And so, you know, you just can't use it anywhere you like. Uh, the main reason is uh, what would happen is uh, if this winding, you know, if this winding here gets shorted out, guys, you just blow the fuse, right? If this winding here gets shorted out, let's say this thing gets to be a dead short, okay, this thing will continue to run. The only difference is this will now be at 480 volts, okay, because it's shorting out that one, and so this whole 480 volts is going to drop here and now all of a sudden your 415 load volt load is getting 480 volts okay and it continues to run it doesn't necessarily blow fuses so there's rules about auto transformers all right guys we're going to try a three phase one and the good news is and this is by the way you know i should have said so unit four handout 8a it's in your book okay guys um 
The good news is, once you know how to do a single phase auto transformer, um, three phase auto transformers are a piece of cake. All right, guys, well, piece of cake, they're the same, but three phase, okay? So let's try this. Uh, calculate the primary phase voltage. And so here's a Y connected three phase auto transformer, guys. And notice that it still has, you know, a series winding. Okay, except for now there's three. All right, and it's got common windings. Okay, except for there's three. Okay, guys. And uh, so when we try to figure this all out, we're, you know, for three phase questions, we're going to apply three phase rules. And then for some transformer questions, we're basically going to apply transformer rules. Okay. So calculate the primary phase voltage. Well, this is why it says E line primary is 347. So that would be from here to here, right? 347 volts. And it's asking about the phase voltage on the primary side. And uh, we would apply a three phase rule. Okay. I got 347 from there to there. What's it from there to there? Since it's Y, it's going to be equal to uh, 347 divided by root 3. That's supposed to be a 3. Okay. So 347 divided by root 3. Looks like it's 200. Okay. Calculate the secondary phase voltage. Well, it says E line secondary is 240. So that's from here, you know, to here. That's 240 volts. And uh, it's Y. So this is going to be 240 divided by root 3. Okay, guys? 240 divided by root 3. 138.6. Okay, and that's important because uh, what I need here is to know what this voltage is, 200.3 volts, and I need to know what this voltage is right here, and that is 138.6 volts. Okay, guys, and uh, that's important because now that uh, we figured that out, we're just going to treat this as a single phase auto transformer basically, and then uh, figure out what's going on. So it says calculate the ratio. Now for the ratio, I'm going to take my high voltage and divide it by my low voltage. Okay, guys? So it is a voltage dropping from there to there over the voltage that's going from there to there. And that's why I needed to calculate these two things. Okay, so the ratio is going to be the high voltage on one winding, 200.3, divided by the low voltage for one winding, 138.6. Okay, so it's 1.445 to 1. Okay, guys. Calculate the primary line current. Look at this, guys. I line secondary is 100 amps. So it's asking about, you know, I line primary. And, uh, we're going to use the ratio to figure that out. It's going to be 100 divided by the ratio, 1.145. Oops, 445. I don't know why I do this so small. It's because everything is small here, okay? So uh, D right up here, guys is going to be 100 divided by 1.445. Okay, 69.2 amps. Okay, and that would be here, 69.2 amps. And that was calculated exactly the way we calculated it on the single phase. We took the secondary current divided by the ratio to calculate the, current, the primary current. That works for every transformer. Okay, so now these next questions are going to be auto, type form, auto 
transformer type questions. Okay, it's asking about the current in the series winding. Here's the series winding here, guys. I series. And uh, look, it's going to be equal to 69.2 amps. 69.2 amps. Okay. Calculate the voltage across the series winding. There's the series winding. So if we look at here, guys, I got 200 from here to here. That's why we needed to calculate actual phase values. Okay, 200 from there to there, 138 from there to there. So this is going to be 200.3 minus 138.6. Sixty-one point seven volts. Okay. Calculate the current in the common winding. There's the common winding. There are three. Okay, and so we're jumping around a bit, but it doesn't matter when you, which one you're looking at. They're all the same here. So we're going to apply Kirchhoff's law. I've got sixty-nine point two up to that point. Okay, and then I got a hundred leaving. That means the current in that guy is going to be the difference between these two. Okay, so this is the same as single phase. It's going to be 100, the current that's leaving, minus 69.2, the current that's coming into this branch. It'll be the same there and same there. 61, yeah, 69.2. That's so I'm doing it right. So 100 minus 69.2, 30.8. Amps, okay, and that'll be here. Calculate the voltage across the common winding. There's the common winding. We've actually got it right there, okay? And uh, you can see that the uh, voltage across the common winding is the voltage from there to there, and it's 138.6. Okay, and now we just got to calculate the VA. But this is three phase, so it has a slightly different VA calculation, guys. The VA for this is going to be E series times I series times three, because there are three series windings now. Four, the VA is going to be E common times I common times three. All right, guys? And I know, I know, there's a lot going on here. So very carefully, we're going to figure out the series voltage here guys and that's uh, right there 61.7 series current okay it's right there 69.2 and multiply that by three let's do that 61.7 times 69.2 times three because it's three phase and there are three of them one two eight oh nine VA. Okay, guys, and now we're just for fun, we're going to calculate it here as well. E common, let's see, 138.6. I common, 30.8 times 3, because there are three of them. Let's try that. Better be the same as this. Okay, guys, 138.6 times 30.8 times 3. Yeah, 12,806. Okay, so looks good. Okay, those are the same. That's the VA of the actual transformer, okay? That's the VA that the transformer is. And then the last one, which is J. So we'll do it right down here. KVA of the load. Now, look, E-line secondary is... 240 and I line secondary is 100 and it's some three phase load out here. So we're going to calculate it using a three phase, regular three phase. Formula, okay. E line, I line, root three out to the load. We'll calculate the VA of the load. 240 times 100 times root three. 240 times 100 times root 3. It is 41569VA. All right. Now, we're going to quit this formula or this question in a second here. But 
Again, I want you to notice this is a 41 and a half kVA load being driven by a 12, you know, almost 13 kVA transformer. Okay, so once again, the transformer size is way smaller than the load side. And if I would have built this out of a conventional YY transformer, I would have had to have a 41 and a half kVA transformer to feed this load. All right, at least. Okay, guys, so there's one more auto transformer. It's Open Delta. Come back for that one.